Hi folks, welcome to this video on respiratory control, okay? Now, you'll have seen a video very similar to this, hopefully, one that I've produced on when we looked at how do you control or regulate heart rate, okay? So what we are talking about here on this respiratory control is we are talking about the regulation of breathing rate, i.e. how do we control or regulate our breathing rate when we are exercising, all right, so that's going to be the uh, the aim of this this very brief video on that. What you what you generally find every year on the AQA paper, you will either get a question on the control of heart rate or the control of breathing rate. You've never we've never seen them both together, and here's the reason why: the answers are unbelievably similar to each other. So if you've watched the video on controlling heart rate. A lot of this, the vast majority of this, is going to be very familiar t uh, to you. So, you know, th this this shouldn't be anything, t t not too much of this should be too new to you. You should have heard quite a lot of it before. So, what we are going to talk about is, uh, how do we control breathing rate during exercise? Okay, during exercise, what's got to happen? Let's get, let's weirdly, let's start at the end point. Breathing rate has to increase. I need to be breathing faster and deeper. Okay, so how do I go about doing that? Well, let's think back to the heart. How did the heart start beating faster when we started exercising? We're going to go back to three old friends here. There they are. I can hear the groans from you already. Chemoreceptors, baroreceptors and proprioreceptors. Now, you can remember from the regulation control of um, heart rate, chemoreceptors detect changes in CO2 levels. Baroreceptors detect changes in blood pressure. Proprioceptors detect changes in muscle movement, muscle tension, whatever you prefer. So, what's going to happen is the chemoreceptors during exercise are going to detect an increase in CO2. The baroreceptors are going to detect an increase in blood pressure. And the proprioceptors are going to detect an increase in muscle movement or muscle tension, whatever you prefer, okay? So, and this makes sense. You'd be going, oh, this is exactly the same as the heart. Exactly right, why? When the heart needs to beat faster, it's because it needs to be able to deliver more oxygen to the working muscles. Well, how do I get more oxygen into the body in the first place? By increasing my breathing, okay? So as heart rate increases, breathing rate has to increase as well. So the same systems that detect the changes are going to be operating for both systems. What are each of these three going to do? They are going to send an impulse, remember, to that special part of the brain called the medulla. Okay, So there we go, circled and drawn. So that's going to give us typical three to four mark question this. We're going to get a mark for mentioning these here and what they are detecting. Remember, don't put change in CO2. If we are talking about exercising, it's an increase in CO2, increase in blood pressure, increase in muscle movement. So there's one tick. That information being sent to the medulla is my second tick. So th those first two points are exactly the same for the heart as they are for the lungs. Where does it differ? Well, if you can remember on the heart, we sent an impulse down a sympathetic nerve into your SA node, and that caused an increase in heart rate. This time, we are sending an impulse down something called the phrenic or the phrenic nerve, whichever you prefer. Now, that is going hot-wired into, not into the lungs, but into the diaphragm and into the external intercostals and into the pectoralis minor and all these muscles that are going to help us take big, massive, deep breaths in. But what is ultimately going to be the result of that? I'll draw a line coming this way and a line coming that way. The result is going to be faster and deeper breathing. Okay? So, three or four mark question on this topic. What am I getting the marks for saying? During exercise... Chemoreceptors detect an increase in CO2. Baroreceptors will detect an increase in blood pressure. Proprioceptors will detect an increase in muscle movement. Okay, This information will be passed on to the medulla. The medulla will send an impulse down the phrenic or phrenic nerve into the diaphragm and the intercostals, and that will result in faster and deeper breathing. Okay, 
That is how my breathing rate is regulated during exercise. Now, if you notice, I've put the young lady over on this side. She's now stopped exercising. Okay? When we have the heart question, we add the sympathetic system and the parasympathetic system. The parasympathetic bringing heart rate down. We have never, ever seen a question on how do you reduce uh, breathing rate. How does the body go about reducing breathing rate? So we have never seen anything on this kind of stuff down here. As far as we're concerned, it's not a question that they're going to ask. So all we need to be interested in and concerned with is how do we go about increasing breathing rate during exercise? Okay? And you're either going to get that question or the heart rate question in the exam. So make sure you know both of these well, but the good thing is, you know, two or three things are the same for each one.